the other way. To lift it up, you, yeah, pull it down. All right, that's good. Good job, buddy. AG Farms, it's all about God. Another day on the farm today. Just a long, hot farm day. And uh, me and Titus down here working with the sheep. Got Titus back there giving the sheep a little water. And uh, we just got them moved down into this new new paddock down here in their uh, mobile sheep tractor. I still got to do a little welding on that mobile sheep tractor. It looks kind of rough right now, but I'm going to do a little welding and put some braces across the top and across the bottom so it won't cave in on the sides like that. But yeah, we just down here. Filling that water up, got them in this new paddock down here. I'm gonna turn you around, let you see what this new paddock look, looks like. And uh, it's a blessing to have Titus working with me. Mama and Tim are on another part of the farm there, uh, using the side by side. And me and Titus are using the tractor here, the old bad boy. And uh, we're pulling around the water trailer and uh, giving, filling the animals' waters up. Then we're gonna pull up to the water meter and fill up the, the water tank again so we'll have a full, full 275 gallons of water for the animals. And uh, let me turn you around and let you see this new paddock that we had a sheep in. So yeah, this is the new paddock we had a sheep in. And uh, this is what they'll be rotating in for the next, I would say, uh, the next two, three months, maybe. I'm not sure because, you know, I move them one time, uh, supposed to be every day, but now I'm moving them every other day because we don't come down here every day. What's up, Gideon? I thought getting with, 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 with mama and Tim them down there. Sound like I heard mama fussing down there. But yeah, uh, so she must have ran and get in now. But yeah, so this, like I say, so from where they're at now, probably to get to that pole right there, that's probably about a week's worth of moves there. And so from that pole to the next pole, that's about two weeks. And so then you move them over a little bit, and then, you know, that's about a month. You know, two months, three months. So they, they 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 might get two good months out of this this section, about two two and a half months. Uh if they're moving every day. And if I move them every other day, they might get get about three three months out of this this section. Yep, but what you got going on back there, Titus? It's almost full. It's almost full. Good, good. Doing a good job, buddy. Yeah, Titus has. Getting pretty good at, at doing the water. He's able to fill up fill the waters up and you know uh turn the water off and do everything he needs to do. So yeah, if a little bit go on the ground, it's fine, Ty. You can jump up there and turn it off. Yeah, but he's getting ready to turn that off. Yeah, we're getting ready to crank back up on the tractor on the old bad boy and pull it to the top of the hill, fill this water back up, and then uh we'll go check on mom and them and see how they're doing. They're supposed to be getting everybody hey. Cause uh, we're loading everybody up on hay, loading the hogs up, loading the sheep back up, stocking everybody back up on hay. And uh, even, even though we put these sheep on pasture here and they're rotating on fresh grass, even though we're doing that, we're still giving them hay for those days in between. We're not here just in case they eat all the grass down. But they're in a pretty lush and thick section right now, so they should be pretty fine. Yep, yep. You ready, buddy? Hop on, hop on on here. Yeah. Tired to get his little seat over here on the side. Yep. It's a perfect little seat. That's the one thing I like uh, about this tractor is that it has these flat, solid uh, panels on the side to where I can have one of my boys sitting over there and I can have the other one sitting over here and they can kind of sit there and then they can put their feet kind of on this pedestal and then they can hold on there. And then what I do is I just put my arm like that around the back of them. So just in case they, they start to fall, I can, you know, grab them real quick. All right, so let's get this tractor cranked up and let's get on up to the top of the hill so we can get some, uh, <clears throat> fill this water back up. There's another thing I like about this tractor. There's a little thing here that you can move the seat back and forth. And when I'm getting off, I move it back and that gives me room to get out. And when I'm on there to drive, you know, I'm only 5'9", so I move it moving forward all the way and I might be able to reach the pedals pretty easy and the brake pretty easy all right so let's crank it up what's up buddy what's that thing 
that's a P and a T and that and then. Oh, uh, P, P and a T and O. That's a PTO, buddy. That's what you, if, if you push that right there, it engages like if you're, you're using a bush hog. Yeah. Okay. Like I hear mom and them coming. Let's see if we can get a little video of them before we crank the track up. <laughs> Mama's so funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. She gets on me about fussing at the boys, but then she fusses at them too. They, you know, sometimes raising kids, you know, you end up yelling, your, raising your voice a little bit, you know. And uh, you think about it later and you have to apologize to the kids. Ain't that right, Ty? Mm hmm Yep. All right, let's see. See, well, Mama and her team. My, Mama has a team of her, Noah, and Tim Jr. <laughs> see what they got going on. They on the side by side. See, Ty, we'll get off and see what mom and them got going on real quick. Heard you over there yelling. Who, who, was your who were you fussing at? Yeah, oh, yeah. As always. Yeah. Had to take him down a peg, but I pray that he learned his, his lesson. Good, good. good. Sounds good. You got a nice load of hay there. Yep. So what you doing with this hay? So I'm going to give it to these uh, sheep. Uh, we got them on some greener pastures now, thicker grass, but... Um, we're not moving them every day. We used to move our sheep twice a day when we were staying in the camper and living out here. Mm -hmm. But because um, we're not able to move them as frequently, yeah, they have hay to supplement when they run out of grass. So we're filling up their hay feeder so they'll have some hay. And uh, then we're going to go down to the pig pen and give them a bunch of hay. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. I get a little video of y'all loading the hay into the right. uh, sheep pen before me and Tyus pull off. We're gonna, we we filled the water up really tight. Did he did everything on his own? I ain't had to get out the tractor, but uh, we're gonna go up there and go ahead and fill the water back up, okay, so we we'll have a full thing of water. Awesome. Don't let me forget this pig part, Tim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but oh yeah. That blue thing. Yep, yep. As I was saying, just a just a cool day on the farm or a hot day on the farm, uh -huh. and uh, we did a prayer walk earlier. You know, we have a ministry in the city so we had an amazing prayer walk amazing time walking in our community and sharing jesus love with our neighbors you know because uh our faith is not just a faith in words but our faith is a faith of action you know and we try to uh let our words meet our actions so that we can serve the lord properly yep yep but yeah they're getting the hay filled up in here and the little hay feeder, we made the hay feed ourselves, and uh, it works pretty good. And like I said, if they run out of grass in between the time we come back, between now and the time we come back, they're able to eat that hay out of there to keep them sustained. Then we got them a lot of water, and there's probably about six, seven gallons of water, something like that. It's more than five, I know that. But yep, yep. All right, so me and Titus are gonna, gonna load up, go ahead and crank the tractor up, and go on to the top of the hill. And, Get this water filled up. Tim, what are you learning today, buddy? I heard you getting fussed at. What happened? Come on. You don't want to talk about it? All right. No. Ain't nothing happening. All right. He took too long to talk. All right. So I'm going to get loaded up on this tractor. Me and Ty's going to go down and get some water. It's IG Farms. It's all about God. All right, y'all. We just finished giving the sheep their hay. So now we're going to load up some more hay to give to the pig. So we'll get to it. It's IG Farms, y'all. I was putting the hay on the back of the side by side, but I can actually get a lot of hay in this bucket if I press it down and compact it. So, since I can't drive the side by side, since I can't drive the side by side into the pan right now, this is working just as well. Amount in there and I just press it down and pack as much as I can in. That, 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 that's out 
Baby, three more days till you fall to the ground. Time to get better. Fill up this bucket again and give it to the pig in the next crowd. I think we got a good amount out here, but we'll see. After we fill this up, we may fill it up one more time and give these pigs out here a little bit more. All right, we'll see how it goes. All right, so we made it down here to the water meter and uh you know our real reason for wanting to come down to the water meter is because me and Tyson were thirsty so uh you turn on Tyson so we're gonna drink us a little bit of this water before we put it in uh the water tote and carry it to the back <laughs> yeah right? yeah you grabbed it so fast I right, try it again Yeah. You want some more? No. Alright, so we got the water flowing back here. And it already has a little bit of water in it already. As you can see, the water is about to that. Let's see. Uh, yeah. It's about to that line right there. And so we're going to try to fill it all the way up. And get a whole 275 gallons. But it's gonna take a while for that to fill up. I told mom and them why they're back there doing uh farm chores. Let me turn you around and see. Because uh that's the driveway going all the way to the back there. And uh, it goes for a nice little distance way back there. But yeah, so <clears throat> while we up here doing water, I told mom and them to get a little video while they're back there. Uh giving hate to the pigs. Okay. Can I toss some rocks? Uh yeah, we'll go down and toss some rocks. Since we're waiting on the water. Tyler said he want to go down and toss a few rocks in the in the pond and see if he can give them a skip. We might run up on a, a black racer, a snake or something. Yeah. Video might be a little shaky. It's not my good good camera here. This camera don't have a uh, stabilization on it for some reason. So I use the other one when I'm moving, and I use this one to for steel shots because this one is better in steel shots than the other one. <clears throat> How many rocks you got? Two. Two. Good. So you got two shots that get them to skip. But yeah, this is the section I was talking about, the flat part behind the pond. This is the pond dam here. 
Yeah, so Ty's gonna try to skip some rocks. Let's see what you can do, bud. <laughs> try it again, buddy. Good job. You gotta try to flick it, flick your wrist. You got like, boop, like, like that. Almost. Good job, bud. High five. All right. That pond don't look too bad, Ty. I see, I see some, see a bunch of fish uh, swimming around. Uh, you you could barely see them. They were like some babies, like some baby brim swimming around. You can see some over there. If you look over there, there's some babies though. You can barely see them. Yeah. We died the pond last year. I see a turtle. You see a turtle like that in the middle? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we died the pond last year because uh because of the algae and uh this stuff here, all this little grass stuff, it grows uh over winter, and then in summertime when it gets real hot. <clears throat> that stuff dies off. Yep. All right, wow. so we're gonna head back up here, get to filling this water up, then we'll pull on down to the to the uh, to the bottom down here with Mom and them to the back at the farm site and see what they got going on. Dropping your little hay. Might want to get back. Where's the third one? Is that good? I don't know, Tony. I don't know, somewhere. Roaming around the farm somewhere. Mm. All right, so I think I'm going to give one more uh, barrel, okay? To the pigs on the outside, just to, just to make sure they have enough. And uh, what's the scripture where it talks about somebody asks you to go one mile, you take them two. So I think it's enough hay, but I'm just gonna do a little bit extra. That's how we like to do on the farm. You know, we check, check everything, make sure everything is good, and then if it's a little bit more that we can do to be more prepared for the next time we do that. So, AG Farms, it's all, it's about, all about God. God. See y'all in the next one.